Oh hey guys! About a month ago I posted a photo on my social media platforms telling you guys that I ordered a bunch of colored contact lenses and I was planning on doing some looks for different eye shades. First up, green eyes. The contact lenses I used are by Desio and they are forest green. I ordered them online. I get asked all the time if my eyes are natural or if I wear contact lenses. My natural blue eyes are 100% real. For you contact lens wearers out there, God bless your soul because this shit ain't easy or fun. As you can see, I'm struggling a bit. So I've already primed my eyes with MAC's Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm starting this look with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Yes, I caved and finally purchased it because I'd gotten so many requests to do looks with it. So I'm starting out by taking a bit of the Salted Caramel shade and apparently heavy-handedly placing it into my crease. I got a little wild on that side, so I'm just going back in right now and blending it out and blowing it out a bit. And now I'm taking a bit of this white chocolate shade and placing it on my brow bone as well as on the lower half of my eyelid. Now I'm going to apply a bit of this purple shade called Candied Violet and I'm blending it into the outer edge and the inner corners of my eyes with a Real Techniques Essential Blending Brush. I think this brush can be found exclusively in the Sam's Picks brush set and I got this from Ulta and I picked it up when I was in Arizona. I'll link it in the bottom bar. Then with a smaller brush, I'm also running Candied Violet through the crease in a straight sharp line connecting my outer edge to my inner corner. You want to keep this shade strictly concentrated into the crease, no higher, no lower, and once I have the placement right, all I'm doing is building up that color. This eyeshadow technique is basically the same one that I used in my last tutorial with the graphic neon blue eyeliner and purple ombre lip. And as you can see, the contact lens struggle is alive and real, so I'm using some eye drops. With a fluffy blending brush, I'm taking a bit of Strawberry Bonbon and I'm placing it just above my crease, blending it upwards towards my brow. And then with that same brush, I'm taking a bit of Candied Violet and blending it into Strawberry Bonbon so it didn't lose any of its intensity. And now with a bit of Black Forest Truffle, I'm just gonna be tracing it over the areas where I previously placed Candied Violet and I'm just doing that to give that purple a little bit more depth. Now with a flat brush I'm going to take a bit of this gold creme brulee shade and I'm going to place it in the center of my lid and the center only. And you can leave this as is, but because I want this area to pop a little bit more, I'm just going to wet a synthetic brush with MAC Fix Plus, and I'm going to dip it into this MAC Pigment in Blonde's Gold, and I'm patting it over top of Creme Brulee. This just takes the center of the eyelid to another level, and it creates a really nice contrast between the two shades. I think gold and purple look pretty dope together. Gold with pretty much anything looks good, let's be real. <laughs> And now I'm taking a bit of Blonde's Gold and running it along the center of my bottom lash line and then a bit of Candied Violet on the outside of my bottom lash line. In my waterline, I'm using this purple eyeshine pencil by Lee Swatier, and along my top lash line, I'm going to be using the Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner in Prismatic Purple. And for once, nope, not doing a winged eyeliner, I'm just lining the lash line for a pop of color and that's about it. Now I'm giving my lashes a little curl and prepping them for falsies with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless Fiber Mascara. And I think the false lashes that I have on here are Red Cherries in number 46. Unfortunately, the purple and pink shades in the Chocolate Bar palette have left me a little underwhelmed. They're not on my level, so I gotta rely on the Sigma Creme Couture palette for a little bit more pop. I'm taking a bit of Cassie, I googled the pronunciation, and I'm gonna be using this to intensify Candied Purple, and I'm also running 
lining it along my bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna take this Red Berry Rose shade and I'm applying it right above the crease with a blending brush upwards towards my brow bone. Both of these shades really complement green eyes, so I need them to stand out, which is why I had to rely on my Sigma palette. And to define my brow bone further, I'm going to be taking some of this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk on a brush and I'm literally just applying it below my brow hairs and blending it out with my finger. I'm doing a little bronzing action on my face with the Makeup Forever Matte Bronzer. And then for the lips, I think I'm going to go for a light mauve look. I'm lining and filling the lips in with the e.l.f. Studio Matte Lip Color in T-Rose, which is my absolute favorite and has been for freaking years. And over top of that, I'm applying this Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in Vintage Pink. And for a little glossiness, I'm going to apply the NYX Butter Gloss in Meringue, which is the prettiest blue-toned baby pink. It smells and looks amazeballs. And lastly, to tie this whole mauve plum sort of look together, I'm applying a bit of MAC Mineralized Blush in Gentle on my cheeks. And voila! That completes my green eye makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more of this eye color series, then give this video a thumbs up. All of the products that I used, as usual, will be listed in the description box below and well well look who it is daisy wanted to stop by and just say what up as always thank you guys very much for watching thank you for subscribing and i'll see you in my next video love you bye